So, I've been uh, trying to work on getting those charges dropped. Starting with my statement at the station. What do you mean? Luke pointed out that uh, switch and bait is Cassidy's M.O. Yeah, see, he's the one that provided the corpse from my wife's mother's funeral, and then he kept Leslie locked up for years. When he promised Taggart, he's like a dog with a bone, and I'm the bone. He's using the charges against you to get to me. Why? He's off the case. That could even make him more dangerous. See why I'm around? Smart guy. <clears throat> Morning, Sonny. Luke, you got a minute? What can I do for you, Justice? Well, I'm hoping I can do something for you. You still need a lawyer? Gentlemen, uh... I need some answers to a few questions. Um, like, for example, in Rochester, what happened and why? And I also would really like to know how much of all those nasty things that Luke says about the Castines, how much of that is true? Luke figured that if everybody thought Leslie and Laura were dead and gone, they would be safe from the Castine. What's up, Lucy? You still trying to decide if we're friends or not? No, I think things are understood between the two of us. It's just my doc I'm worried about. What's he got to do with it? How about the fact that he's probably this close to being on Stefan Cassidyne's payroll? How's that? So, Kevin is using all his insights and his resources to dig up anything he can to create a, a psychological profile on that jerk doorman. Supposedly, it's to help Monica, but I can't get it out of my mind that Alexis was the one who started this whole ball rolling. Now, why? Why Kevin? The Cassadines want something out of Doc Shrink besides his professional insight. Right, but the question is what? So, men, I would be eternally grateful if you could help me out, you know? Anything? We'll keep our eyes and ears open for you. Thank you. I am just not going to let anybody hurt my duck again, and I will do anything it takes to stop anybody from trying. Here, I'll walk you out. I got to go pick my wife and her mother up from the hospital. Yeah. You know where to find her. Okay. We're not open for business yet, Detective. I'm not here as a customer. You know damn well you've been thrown off the Spencer case. Yeah, well, it's still my job to investigate criminal activities when I run across them. If you're not here to arrest me, you're trespassing. Just want to let you know I'm still around, Krentos. Still on a job. How's the background check coming along? Well, I'm working on it. I haven't come up with anything that isn't public record. And you won't, because he's smart. He's covered his bases, and he thinks he's on the cat bird seat. What else you got? Well, he went to Brooklyn Police Academy. Mm-hmm. Uh, worked his way up to detective, then transferred here to Port Charles. This thing he's got against you, any idea what it could be? I don't know. All I know is you, somebody shot me full of heroin months ago and left me for dead. Now, people on, on the street are asking, you know, about my business and my drug connections. Yeah, but and there's nothing to worry about because there isn't any. No, no, see, the, first of all, not everybody knows that. Second of all, not everybody buys it. It's very easy to stick a label on me that I'm a dealer. All they got to do is plant a few drugs. You think Taggart's going to try to set you up? Any way you can. Heads up. I see him. You want to do this later? If Taggart approaches me with witnesses, he makes it easier for Valentine to prove harassment. Well, I still don't get why you came. Oh, I don't want to talk to Max. See if you can find anything more about Brenda Stock. You know, Jackson straight to the police. And maybe they're actually doing a job for once and finding out something worthwhile. 
Yeah, don't bet on it. Here he comes. What'd I tell you? He's gonna prove the harassment case. You have a problem, Taggart? Not unless you make one. Yeah. Mr. Printos, Mr. Morgan. You mind if I sit down? You already did. Yes, I did. I need to ask you a few questions. About? Heroin. You see, there uh, seems to be a lot around lately, and every time I ask why, your name gets mentioned. If I were you, I'd keep your voice down, Detective. This isn't a park or a lockup. There's a lot of nice people who would tell a judge you're harassing me. Why would they bother? Because you're a sharp dresser who gives money to hospitals. They know who you are. So do I. You're a low-life, smack-shooting, drug-dealing thug. You know, if I was to haul your sorry butt out of here, I'd probably get a standing ovation. Try it. When I'm good and ready. What's the matter, Detective? You're all out of false charges? Think real hard. Maybe you'll find something to uh, bust me for here. Well, I can think of nine or ten. To start, Mr. Morgan's probably carrying an unlicensed weapon, but he's too stupid to realize that's grounds for arrest. What's it like, Sonny, knowing your best friend is a brain-damaged kid who's too stupid to spell his own name? <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna work. Was I talking well, I'm to you? not hitting you no matter what you say. If you want to arrest me, you find a real reason. Well, it shouldn't be too hard. Well, then do it. Or leave. You bore me. Ooh. Ouch. That really hurt. You giving them lessons, Sonny? You know something? You know, you're not... We all know you're not even supposed to be here. He knows it. I know it. But actually, it's good that you showed up, though, because it saves me the trouble of sending for you. Send in for me? Give you a warning. You can come at me whenever you want, Detective. But don't ever, ever use a woman. <laughs> like you use Brenda Jacks? Must be nice having another man's wife bail you out of jail. But then. You two were close ones, right? I mean, you used to live together. Until some bad boys tried to machine gun her in your shower. Was that before or after the two of you were chased by a gunman through some resort hotel in Puerto Rico? That's that's that's, that's all you got? You're coming after me, and all you got is a, is a history of my love life? You're either one lousy cop, or I'm not as bad as I think I am. Maybe both. But like I said before, don't use the woman, not Brenda Jacks, not anybody else. If you're gonna try something with me, you deal with me, I'll deal with you. But if you use a woman, I'm gonna take you out. You ain't gonna know what happened. That's a threat, my friend. Grounds for arrest. We both agree Jason doesn't count as a witness. So unless you're wearing a wire, which I don't think you are, the way you're ignoring our civil rights, you got nothing on me. Again. So long, detective. I'm here for as long as it takes. You're going down, sonny boy. This time. Forever. You have a nice evening, gentlemen. Get your beer. This guy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like how much Taggart knows about you. I do. It makes me careless. Every time he gets in my face, he gives away a little more. Sooner or later, he's gonna slip and tell me why he's after me. Then what? I know how to get rid of him. He talked a lot about Brenda? Yeah, I know he did. He hates me enough to use her, but I tell you what, he 
does. He's a dead man. Abusive or confrontational? Are you filling out a questionnaire? He was his usual charming self. Do either one of you want to file a complaint? Not yet, but you know something? You, you keep him under control or, or get rid of him because he's a bad cop. Taggart may have it in for you, Sonny, but that doesn't make him dirty. He threw Brenda in Sonny's face. Not just her name, he knew stuff about when they were together. He couldn't have known that unless he was digging. No law against research. Yeah, but there is one against stalking, and, and Brenda's being stalked. We all know Taggart's carrying a grudge. How far is he gonna go? Sonny, Taggart may bend the law to put you in prison, but he's not gonna break the law. And he sure as hell isn't going after Brenda. Then who is? You tell me. How many enemies do you have? So far, we've got nothing on a stalker. No prints, no fibers. But I can tell you one thing, it's not Taggart. He wants you in prison, Sonny. Not running around scared for your old girlfriend. All right, just just do me a favor. Tell me if you find out anything more. Because I know Jax is not going to tell me anything, and, and, and Brenda might not either. What the hell? Technically, it's not an official investigation, so I won't be compromising police procedure. I appreciate it. Of course, if uh, you find a suspect, you'll tell me, right? And not take care of it yourself? Uh, of course. I want this over as much as you do, Sonny. I doubt it, but thanks anyway. There you go. All right. Say hi to my niece. Ready? Thank you.